is New Hampshire as it gets right gotcha, here. Gotcha. <laughs> Hey, this is Max Ledoux, and I'm out on Lake Winnipesaukee, and Ed and Seth here are ice fishing for Cusk. I think Max might want to hold it, too. Reggie you want to Reggie. Oh, Moody. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's why I ran this old dog. It's so cold, it's just like you're freezing. Yeah. Let's see there, let's see what. I'll take that ice this. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's so thick the ice is. Oh, that's good. Good. Yeah. Just kick over the snow. Nice. What do you do? Kick that snow over, it won't freeze. Yeah. Oh, you're going to leave this here overnight? Oh, yeah. Yep. And then you come back and it's fish Every 24 anymore. hours. Oh. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Those smelts are alive. Uh, not for long. <laughs> it's 12 degrees. Just right for cusk. These fish are what we call cusk, which is C-U-S-K. Okay. And it's uh, absolutely probably the best fish, best fish swimming. Uh, nice. Yeah, so we got nice. a few of those for tonight. Nice. And, uh, but they were brought. Um, and you caught them in there? On a cusk trap, yes. Okay. And a cusk trap is simply a, a stick or a device you tie a string to, put it on the bottom with a one ounce weight minimum, touching the bottom, and then you can only have a six inch leader oh. off the weight. Mm -hmm. And you put your bait on that, which could be a dead shiner or a dead smelt or anything else. And the old timers used to use bells. Oh. It would put a bell because it would attract the noise would attract the, the cusk. Oh, yep. poor things. But uh, well, they're good eating. They're the yeah. best eating fish. Okay. Uh, in Europe, they call them burbot. Um, they're actually a member of the ling cod family, but out in the uh, Great Lakes, they call them lawyer fish. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because they're bottom feeders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make this stuff up. I was waiting for that. Yeah. But yeah, so that is the cusk.